Happy Manifestation Monday! Hi guys, it's me, Tiffany, uh, Dr. Tiffany Shelton Marion Old, to be technical, the manifesting psychologist. I am here to start the series. Well, I started last week of the chakra introduction, and from now until we finish with the chakras, I am going to be doing um, each chakra, how you can balance each one of them. So today we're starting off with the first chakra, the root chakra talking about how to know if you need balance in this area and how to balance it. The reason I'm talking about chakras and doing this series is because balancing your energy and your chakras can really help you to vibrate higher. And that's important because we attract from our point of vibration, from our mood, how we're feeling. So if we're feeling good and our energy is balanced, we're going to be positively attracting which just means we're going to be attracting those things into our life that we really want so if you can learn how to use the chakra system to vibrate higher that's going to make your life so much easier um, and i hope this information helps you guys fulfill those dreams um, my training in this is i am my yoga teacher certification was in chakra flow yoga so i learned all about the chakra system I also am referencing a book that I think is incredible that I talked about in um, the first video in the intro to this um, called Eastern Body, Western Mind. It talks all about all the seven chakra systems. Um, amazing book. Can't recommend that enough. And also the Chakra Energy Plan, which is a more practical um, book about chakras. So I will be referencing information from both of those books and of course my, my yoga teacher training and the, all the training that I had in the chakra system. So I think you're in good hands. So I have my notes here because I don't want to forget anything. I do have mom brain. So if you see me looking this way, that's what I'm looking at. It's I'm looking at my notes. I posted this in my reel, but I want to start off with some questions to help you guys understand. Um, and just so you know, I'm going to repost this on Instagram live. Um, but I want to, I mean, Instagram TV, um, to kind of ask you three questions so you can kind of get just your wheels turning if you may need to balance this chakra. So the first question I want to ask you is, do you feel grounded and able to relax? That's a clue. If, um, that question can help you figure out if you need healing and your root chakra or balancing that energy. The second thing question that you can ask is, do you have any unprocessed family issues? You might be saying, well, who doesn't? But do you have any current ones right now that might need work and that be, might be causing your energy to be unbalanced? Um, the third one is, do you have... Um, do you experience frequent anxiety? So that's the third question that might give you a little clue if you need to balance this chakra. So the root chakra is all about survival. The basic drive of the root chakra is all about surviving, okay? We're not yet at that place of thriving. The root, sh root chakra is all about survival. It's all about um, safety, security, stability, um, all those things. It's about grounding our roots. It's a foundation, if you will. It's that very real, tangible chakra that's all about our right to be here. Um, so the issues of the root chakra is all about trust. It's all about family, prosperity, nourishment, um, like I said, grounding, safety, and security, all those things. When the root chakra is balanced, we feel safe, we feel secure, we feel connected and um, rooted within our family system, and that could be your, your, your modern family or your childhood family, any of those issues that may come up. Um, you're able to trust the world when this ch chakra is balanced. You're able to relax when this chakra is balanced. You might be feeling financially secure or working towards financial security. You're aware of your finances, but you're not scared and having a scarcity mindset when this is balanced. Um, and so then there's two ways that chakras can be out of balance. You can actually be in excess of that energy at that chakra, or you can be deficient. So here are some traits to let you know if you might have excess energy in this chakra, if you experience any overeating, any hoarding, uh, if you have rigid boundaries, if you have a fear of a change, or if you have any addiction to security. So like you're hyper-focused on feeling secure so much so that you never take any chances, 
you never take any risk, okay? That means you're excess in that root chakra. So if the root chakra is all about survival, you're probably like hyper-focused on survival and safety and security so much so that it's not allowing you to, um, to flourish, to thrive, to prosper because you're kind of staying really, really too grounded, right? On the other hand, and this is something that I've had to work on in my own life, there's the deficient in this chakra. And those are the people that are maybe a little bit more heady and have to do a little bit work to stay grounded because you're really like, you know, in your head, you're a risk taker, you're a thinker, all those sorts of meta things, right? So the root chakra, if you're deficient, you might be underweight, you might feel disconnected from your body and from sometimes from reality. Um, you might be anxious or restless um, energy, you might have poor focus, and you might be experiencing financial difficulty or financial denial. Um, even if finances aren't a problem, you might be kind of so disconnected from them that you don't even know where you're at financially. So that is um, how you know if you're in either excess or if you're either deficient in the root chakra. Excess energy is all about surviving and really, really um, hyper-focused on that. Or if you're deficient, you're not really connected to being stable, to being secure, those types of things. Okay, so that's all about the root chakra. Um, I think I didn't tell you the color of it is red. Um, and it's like at the base of us, that like Kegel gland. Um, muscle at the bottom of us so and also our legs and our feet so it's that very bottom where we can hold this energy metaphorically and sometimes you can even feel it physically right um you know you know if you're in excess if you're deficient now i want to give you guys some tools to balance this chakra if you're feeling like you need to do some healing or to do some balance work in this area of your life okay um, so the first thing is I want you to reconnect um, to your body through mindful yoga. Um, so a really great pose for uh, if you're feeling um, you need to balance the chakra is the mountain pose. It's a yoga pose. You can just search it on Google. Um, but it really helps you tap into in a very mindful way grounding your body. And it also uses um, that energy from the feet up to kind of do that process. So it's a really helpful tool just to help you get like grounded in here in the present moment. So that's gonna be mountain pose. It's gonna be a really powerful pose. And there are other yoga poses. I can um, give you guys a reference if you DM me of a book with yoga poses for each uh, chakra. Um, but that one's one that I definitely recommend. Uh, the second thing, um, you know, other than mindful yoga, there's other mindful movements that are really helpful in balancing this chakra and getting you um, c c making present contact with reality. Those are things like Tai Chi or mindful walking, mindful eating. Those types of things are really going to help you um, balance this chakra as well. Um, the other thing that uh, is going to really help you feel more grounded is body work and massage, especially working on things like your legs and your feet. That's going to help you balance some of that energy um, because that's where we hold a lot of these things if we're in excess or deficient. So that can help you process some of that energy, help you feel more um, grounded and relaxed in, in your life. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about when it comes to balancing your root chakra is processing any unresolved family issues that you may have. And this, I was, of course, as a psychologist, recommend therapy, especially if it involves things like trauma or anything really, really deep that you might need another person that can help you with. Or it could be something really superficial, like just communication issues with your spouse or your partner or a friend. Um, so any type of family issues that are unresolved, especially those from childhood, if you are having issues with your root chakra, that's going to help you process that energy in your root chakra and feel more balanced. Because again, it's all about our foundations in the root chakra. It's all about connecting to, to earth, right? So the more we can tap into and feel more balanced and in control when it comes to anything that we have gone through with our family, the more the chakra is going to be balanced. Okay. 
Um, and then that moves me on to this shock. This chakra is all about survival, right? It's all about safety and security. So if you've experienced any type of trauma in your life, that trauma is by definition, it affects our um, ability to trust others and to trust the world. And this chakra is all about trust. So if you expect experience trauma, processing that, healing from that, becoming more resilient after the fact, which is called post um, traumatic growth is going to help you feel more energetically balanced in your root chakra as well. Um, if you can look for uh, a therapist that is specialized in EMDR training, eye movement desensitization, um, I forget what the R is, but they're, they're evidence-based ways, that is an evidence-based way to process trauma. So any therapist that is um, trained in that and specializes in that is going to be able to help you in a really efficient way process your trauma that you can trust. Um, it's all about eye movement and also re kind of um, safely in your mind re-experiencing that and creating a, a new narrative about what you've been through in a very safe and healing way. Um, Obviously, you can also go to other types of therapy as well if you've been through trauma to kind of help you process that. Um, another thing that you can do that has to, that's physical is pelvic floor exercises. This helps us feel more stable, more grounded, could help you be more connected, especially if you're deficient um, to reality to this earth. Um, developing satisfaction with your environment so what is your home looking right where are your surroundings looking like do you need a more organization do you need a home refresh to really be satisfied with where you are um that's going to help your root chakra energy a lot because it's really going to ground you again and make you feel confident in where you live in your home and make you feel happy with it as well um a great thing you can do, this chakra is all about smell, so aromatherapy is going to be really, really helpful to help you balance the root chakra. I especially, for this chakra, um, recommend using lavender if you need just something to help you. Not only does the scent um, you know, help you make contact with the present moment, um, but it also is a very relaxing smell, which helps you feel less stress, less anxiety, helps you to relax, which is all, this chakra is all about relaxation and feeling, you know, peaceful and, and safe. So lavender aromatherapy especially will be helpful in balancing um, the root chakra. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to offer you guys if you are into meditation, I have a CD that I can offer to you completely for free. If you just either DM me, if you're here on Instagram, I can email it to you or write me in the comments on YouTube. I'll send it to you for free. It's called Cocoa Butter for the Mind. And each one of those meditation is um, a guided meditation that's going to help you balance each chakra. So let me know if you want that i can send that to you as well um but that's just like my quick overview of the root chakra what it's all about it's about survival it's about grounding it's about safety security and some easy ways that you can begin thinking about balancing this chakra so you can vibrate higher next week i'll be moving on to the second chakra so i hope you guys can join me um, for that one as well and we're going to keep it moving and go through all the chakras get us fully aligned so we can vibrate high and manifest our dreams uh, if you guys have any questions please be sure to either comment um, in the comments or dm me on instagram i'm happy to chat all things chakras and manifestations thank you for the heart um, and until next manifestation monday namaste